Now at five, we've learned the name of a young woman killed in a car crash last night. And we first reported it last night at 11. Police tell us the 21-year-old woman's car and a pickup truck collided this afternoon. Eyewitness News reporter Jared Pliner spoke to the victim's parents and a neighbor. He joins us now live from the mobile newsroom with the new details tonight. Mike Kelly, good evening. A 2013 graduate of Dighton Rehoboth High School gone tonight. She was just a half mile away from seeing her family. Kayla DeMello of Rehoboth was just 21 years old when she died in a car crash last night just around the corner from her family's home. DeMello's parents tell Eyewitness News she was coming back from school in Boston where she'd been doing clinicals at Mass General studying to become an x-ray technician. She always took the commuter rail and left her car at the Attleboro station. Rehoboth police say DeMello was making a turn from Simmons Street onto Hornbine Street, a pickup truck approaching on Hornbine when the two vehicles collided. DeMello's parents say their daughter was well-liked, a great student, focused on school, did office work at a Seekonk trucking company to make money in between her studies, was a Red Sox fan, had a passion for photography, and loved her 2008 Acura, which she kept in perfect condition, not a scratch. Police say it doesn't appear speed or alcohol played a role around 6 o'clock last night, but neighbors tell us they have long been concerned about this intersection and think it should be a three-way stop. They say drivers from Simmons have to pull onto Hornbine to see what's coming. Overgrowth obscures a curve. We didn't see any speed limit postings on this stretch either. Kayla DeMilla leaves behind a younger sister as well. Police have not said who was in the pickup truck. Now coming up new at 6 o'clock, hear from someone who knows this family and knows the stretch of road very well. For now, live with the Mobile Newsroom tonight, I'm Jared Pletter, Eyewitness News.